Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we have another update for OnePlus 3, OnePlus 3T, OnePlus 5 and 5T which is based on a custom ROM called Dirty Unicorn and they have released their initial build of Android Oreo which is based on Android 8.1. This is a candidate build which is also called as RC build as it's an initial build so it may have few bugs and I've been using on my OnePlus 5 throughout the day. In this build, I'll show you what are the features available on this ROM. Along with that, I'll also show you the battery backup which I have got. And at the end of the video, we'll also take a look on the installation process. So guys, you can see this is my OnePlus 3 and this is my OnePlus 5. All the four devices like OnePlus 3, 3T, 5, 5T, this ROM is available. And you can check the description below to download the same. I have mentioned separate links for each device. To install this guys, make sure your device is decrypted. Now first taking a look on the settings. Going to system, about phone and under this you can see Android version is 8.1 with the security patch 5th Jan. 2018 and the same things are available on oneplus 3 also talking about fingerprint scanner fingerprint is working great no issues in that and volt services are also working talking about dash charging dash charging is also working great i haven't find much of issues in this i can use it as a daily driver and it comes pre-installed with aosp camera but on my oneplus 5 i've been using google camera that also works great i did not find any kind of issues in that along with that i also installed oneplus latest camera to check whether it has any issues or not so first we'll take a look on the features what are available in this so going to settings and you can see a dirty tweaks available over here in this you have all the customizations related to your device and we'll take a look on everything whatever is available here first let's go to display and check whether any extra customizations have been added or not so in this you find ambient display wake on plug and you can just change the density options so nothing new has been added in this but many things available in dirty tweaks which will take a look going to system here you get gestures only one gesture that is jump to camera so I'll also tell you what all things are not working. Let's dive into dirty tweaks. And here you can see you have many options of system, lock screen, status bar, navigation bar and multitasking. Going to system, you have device extra. All three gestures are not working. Under device extras, you can also customize alert slider, which is working great. No issues found here. Under miscellaneous, you have launch music app on headset connection system ui theme is also not working as of now i have tried as you can see i have selected dark and dark ui is not working on this room power button flashlight is working when you long press the power button you can see flashlight works going back to power menu here you have few options of reboot advanced reboot screenshot lock screen visibility moving to lock screen here you have fingerprint preference under which it says fingerprint authentication vibration vibrate on successful fingerprint authentication lock screen items can be changed from here it's a good thing that you can remove everything from the lock screen and you can keep it empty moving to status bar battery option you don't get anything available here carrier label options are available clock options does not have anything and same issues are there on this also so under battery option here also you don't get anything same about clock options so it's a bug which can be fixed in the next update moving on to notification here you have quick pull down options and you can arrange the column layout last one under status bar is traffic indicator which works there is no issues with that moving on to navigation you have button configurations over here media volume control volume wake playback control and reorientation you also get option to disable navigation buttons and allow button backlight then last one you have is multitasking under which you have head up notification you can block any specific application as per your requirement then moving on to recents you have clear all recents options you can change the position also from top to bottom or left to right then last one is ticker so this is not enabled as of now in this build so these are the features or the customization options available in this now talking about the battery backup which i got it on oneplus 5 and i was pretty amazed about the battery backup what i got you can see five hours and six minutes of battery backup still i have 18 percent of battery remaining 
so this was a pretty good battery backup i got it on oneplus 5 being a initial build but i have not tested on this one oneplus 3 i just installed to show you guys about the same rom then talking about the benchmark results in this you can see oneplus 5 scores 1869 in single core and multi score it gets 6655 on oneplus 3 we get scores here that is 1835 in single core multi core 3990 not at all bad results pretty good scores we have got here then going with and to two benchmark application OnePlus 5 it scored somewhere around 1,59,040, and on OnePlus 3 it scored 1,38,523. So these are great results. I did not find any issues about heating. For me, it's a daily driver. But if you guys are more concerned about the features which are lacking on this build, then you just have to wait for the another build. Now taking a look on the installation process. Make sure guys your device is decrypted and you should have TWRP recovery installed. Once you have TWRP recovery installed, you just need to boot your device to recovery. After your device boots to recovery, go to wipe, wipe everything from here excluding internal memory. Once it is done, locate the files which you have placed. So I'll show you all the files. This is a ROM file and you also need firmware of latest oxygen os make sure to use stable one first flash the firmware after that go back flash the rom and once rom is flashed successfully we'll flash the google app package and we'll reboot the device this way you can install this rom and once your device boots up complete the initial setup and you can start using the rom and trust me guys you can use it as a daily driver as i've been using it i did not find any kind of issues minor issues which can be managed as it's a initial build from them so if you want you can give a try and that's all for today's video guys hope you like the video if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day